This video looks at what is a burning issue in my life at the moment, right? It's something which when you see, you cannot unsee. And it's that what we have done in our organizations is we have placed almost entirely the burden and the onus of the employee experience onto the employee. Said differently, we kind of say it is your job as the employee to make your career happen. So it's about your hard work and about your attitude and about finding your purpose and being your authentic self. And that is a lot of pressure. Now, not only is it a lot of pressure, it's a very sophisticated tool to divert responsibility from leadership and organizational structures for taking responsibility as well for creating an environment that equally supports employees because our organizations are not neutral. Our organizations are not meritocracies. It is not about how hard you work and that's how far you'll go. But what I've been noticing is an increase in that shifting of ownership onto you, the employee, through very sophisticated language that we may not even have picked up. Here's a couple of them, right? You must be professional. Again, we're saying it is your responsibility to show up sanitized, without any politics, without any baggage, without any race, without any gender, put all of that away and you must show up and just be professional. When we really understand that the standards of professionalism are often people who look like me, white straight men who are able-bodied Christian English speaking. So even that understanding of professional is not neutral. But now we ask people, you must aspire to that. That is your job. Instead of actually interrogating the organization and saying, hold on a second, that standard means only some people can achieve it. And then some people are going to be rewarded for that. And some people are going to be punished. Oh, wow, we should actually take responsibility. Now, let's not do that. Let's say you must be professional. Another one of my pet peeves is the idea of authenticity. Bring your authentic self to work. You must go do that work to bring your authentic self to work. But the reality is, as I've spoken in another video, our organizations do not allow for everyone to be their authentic selves. We only reward some authentic selves, not somebody who wants to show up in a dress if they're a man because they want to express their gender differently. No, we punish those authentic selves. So even there, we're saying, hey, employee, bring your authentic self to work. Oh, P.S., it's not actually your full authentic self it's a version of an authentic self that mostly meets people who look like me white straight da, 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 da. so again the idea of the authentic self and celebrating that is not even neutral as well but we'll say employee you must bring your authentic self and then you're going to be able to thrive absolute nonsense and the third one and i mean i can go on for ages but let's keep this video nice and short is the even the idea of leaning in right you know, when women say, you know, we need to lean in, you know, lean in, take up space. Again, we're asking the marginalized identity employee who is just struggling sometimes just to survive within a space, now to stand up and lean in. It's so unrealistic and is so unfair. And again, removes the responsibility of organizations and leadership to say, how can we expect people who don't even feel safe, who are just trying to survive, to now lean in, take up space and survive? That feels so unrealistic. But again, we use these words. We say, hey, employee, lean in. Woman, lean in. Person of color, lean in. Person of color, be your authentic self. Queer person, bring your authentic self to work. Oh, but not too much. And then, of course, you must be professional. These words, though they seem neutral, have the effect of placing the responsibility of the employee experience entirely onto the employee which of course means that the organization and leadership don't have to take responsibility. Ah, it's not my fault, it's your fault. Remember, you're in charge of your career, but it's not because these things are not neutral. They deeply coded in a history of who we see as valuable and who we don't. And that added pressure and onus of employees who don't even feel safe or comfortable within the space, now they've got to be authentic and be professional and lean in, creates that deep sense of discomfort and emotional baggage and pain and psychological unsafety, which leads to burnout, which leads to mental breakdown and illness, and of course, attrition, just leaving because I just can't deal with it anymore.
Let's be mindful of the language we use in our organizations that may seem neutral, but behind the scenes has an effect of saying, hey, try be more like this person here, like this person here, and don't actually be who it is that you are. And also, it's your fault if you don't get far. And also, we're not taking any responsibility.